Heart of NHS Portsmouth is an important opportunity to make a difference for the people of Portsmouth City. Um, there are a range of things that we need to tackle in terms of giving people greater opportunities and choices to access a healthy lifestyle in order that they have a long and independent and high quality life. of NHS Portsmouth we call ABLE which um, is summarised as being about an achieving organisation that's for us is about delivering not only the national targets the Department of Health sets us but also our local objectives in terms of improving health it's about being bold so it's not about doing just the usual traditional things in terms of traditional health care but thinking creatively about how we do that examples of that would be our work for example with the football club to try and engage those middle aged males that sometimes are hard to access in terms of health services and health care um, leading is recognising ourselves as the role of the leader for NHS services in Portsmouth. It's sometimes difficult to identify actually who is in control of healthcare in Portsmouth. You have a hospital, you have community and mental health providers. And um, we ultimately hold purse strings and make those decisions about how providers should be operating services and making them available to our population. Finally, there's engaging. Um, this is critically important. We can only do our job by engaging with our public and getting really good information about patient and public expectations and feedback on their experiences so that we can improve upon those in the future. The key challenges for NHS Portsmouth um, are related to the health of our population. So, for example, we know that there are a high number of people turning up in A&E departments with alcohol-related causes we need to address that. We also know there are some key problems in our health system. So for example, we know that there are a high number of people going into hospital every year, and this is higher than most health systems of a similar nature and with a similar type of population. Um, we also have a finance challenge. Um, we know that we have to make 20 million pounds efficiencies um, in the next four years just to stay still and keep the system stable. That is a significant challenge for us. Real challenges for us are to uh, improve quality and productivity and to innovate. Um, and I think that means looking very carefully at how services are provided. Uh, perhaps we can uh, do more away from hospital and improve the services and support people have at home. Um, maybe we can improve quality um, and by that we mean maybe it's best to do things once well. Um, it actually is better for patients if things are done once well and it saves money if we don't have to do them again. NHS Portsmouth faces a critical time in terms of its key priorities at the moment, not just for the 12 months but for the next three to five years. This is because of the national position in terms of the economic downturn, which will mean not only will we see less funding coming into the health service locally, but also people's needs are likely to increase as they need more help and support during this difficult time. Um, during this time, despite it being hard times, we also need to make sure we strive to improve health, so actually we're not actually going to compromise or reduce what we do for healthcare services. We need to actually deliver more and make bigger improvements. Um, a big focus of that would be on prevention. So actually we need to prevent ill health um, because that only saves money for us and enables us to do other things but it gives people far greater quality of life. The contribution that um, my teams and I make to the health and well-being of the city include leading the debates that we are having now about improving health care in this city. We challenge existing systems, we challenge existing services, we question where quality isn't good enough and we question where cost isn't good enough. Um, that's our key role and will continue to be our key role over the next four years. I think also we've got some real opportunities to improve services um, and that means we need to be bold, we need to be confident, we need to believe in ourselves. We've got the right resources here, we've got the right people here, we've got the right intelligence here. If we put it all together there's no reason why we can't succeed.